Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abon. Welcome back to Local to Global with Ferenc Varos on FM22. Today, it's our first game in charge of our brand new club. It's Club 4. Uh, we've moved from Belgium to Hungary. If you're enjoying the series, drop a like, leave comments and subscribe if you haven't or if you're new. Turn notifications on. First competitive match in charge of the Green Eagles today. That is their nickname. Let's see if we can get off to a winning start with our new club. So here we are then uh, at our new club, Ferenc Varos in Hungary. Uh, we have uh, met the squads. We've done some pre-season stuff. I've made a couple of signings, which I'll show you in a second. But I'm looking forward to getting going uh, with our new club. Just looking at the business that um, they did last season, um, they had Bruno Martins Indy here as well. Uh, he's moved on. Uh, so they more or less broke even. They bought a little bit more than they sold. Before we joined, they had sold Filip Kruvinovic here to Karabag in Azerbaijan, a 31-year-old midfielder who looked pretty good. And they made a bit of a loss on him as well. They bought him for just under a million pounds last season. He played just five games and then moved to Azerbaijan. So not a great piece of business there. We've loaned out quite a few players. Uh, we have sold one player for money, the, the Nemanja Kalakovic, who's a 19-year-old goalkeeper who is in our second team. He's gone to Kizvada for £105,000. We have so far spent £6 million in the transfer budget. We started with about 24 and we've spent a bit of money so far. This is Leandro Fernandez, a Dutch midfielder that we bought from Zwolle. They got relegated, so he was on the transfer list. Valued at five to six million pounds. We got him for 3.4, so not a bad piece of business there. He's a centre mid who's probably going to be playing as our centre mid on attack. You know, 12s and 13s seem to be par for the course in terms of attributes, so that's quite good. And his passing's not too bad. His first touch is decent. Just seems like a really decent, well-rounded player. Adam Catone is a player that we got on the cheap. He's a 21-year-old centre-back. Probably not going to see too much football this season. But he's come from Mitsu Kovest. I'm going to butcher some pronunciation here. So Hungarians, please do help me out if you're watching. Uh, just £76,000 this deal was. So again, a cheap player that might not get a great deal of football but he's in. And the third player that we signed so far, Zoltan Kinkses on loan from Inter Milan. 19-year-old right back uh, who looks pretty good, actually. He is suspended for the first match, unfortunately, but yeah, he is on loan from Inter Milan. He won him from MTK uh, for £1.7 million. We've got him on loan for the season. We are paying all of his wages as well as a monthly fee as well, which could go up depending on how much we play him. Uh, so we're looking at spending like for a season... Between three and six million, depending on how much we play him. So it's a bit of money, but it's not too bad. If we look at our squad depth, we can have a look at sort of what we're dealing with with our squad. We do have two goalkeepers. They're both a bit on the old side, as is most of our squad. But, you know, we can deal with two keepers like this for one season. We do have three centre-backs in Adu, Tollinson and Ballard. So I'm not too disappointed there. And we did just buy that young player, Katona, as well. So he can be our fourth choice. Right back, we have Kings this in on loan. Ballard can play there. We do have our Maskey as well, the 21-year-old, but he doesn't look especially good. Left back, we only really have a Marvi, our Maskey. Uh, I don't know if his left foot's any good. It is strong. He's got a strong left foot, so he can cover there. I think left back is something we can maybe get a signing in there, though. We've got plenty of money to do so. Looking up front, we've got Djurjevic, we've got Vogoslammer, Lonchar can kind of play there, Zubkov as well. So we might be okay up front. Uh, Right-hand side, we've got uh, Zubkov. I tried to sign Felician Dini. Uh, it would have cost us £17 million. We did have a fee agreed with Mechelen, but unfortunately he has no interest in moving to Hungary because of the state of the country, pretty much. We can't speak to the agent anymore, but basically because of the standard of living in Hungary, he's got no interest in coming here. So I'm hoping that he stays where he is and no one else picks him up. The issue we do have, though, is that if we do make a bid for uh, Dini, Atalanta, as their senior affiliate, can match that bid. So Atalanta, our former senior affiliate at Mechelen, could swoop in and steal him from under our nose. And that would be a bit of a shame if that happens. So I think with our signings, I think it's just a case of, you know, seeing what we can get. We've got plenty of money to spend. So, you know, if there's players available in any position, then I think we can get them. I think we need to prioritise left back next, though. We've got a right back in with the low knee. I think left back is going to be the next priority. Try and sort out this back line and then worry about, you know, going further up the pitch maybe later on. We do still have about a month left of the transfer window. Um, but I think left back 
And then after that, it's just seeing what else we can get. I'm pretty happy with our midfield and our attacking three. So yeah, left back and then whatever else we can get after that, I guess. Interestingly, we have drawn Club Bruges in our Champions League third qualifying round tie. Uh, of course, they bottled the league title last season, Ostenda, snatching it from under their noses as Club Bruges really disappointed in the playoffs, bottling the title and having to go through the league phase of the Champions League. And now we're going to go back to Belgium to try and take them on. So I think taking on Club Bruges would be a good test of how our side sort of matches up. Uh, of course, we faced them a number of times with Mechelen. Um, towards the end of last season, we really didn't do well. But, you know, it's a good test to see how we sort of measure up to our old club. So the two legs against Club Rouge we'll be doing next episode. Today, though, it's our first game of this season. We're against Gure at home, and they are newly promoted. Uh, they won the second division uh, and got promoted. So this should, in theory, be three points for us. Uh, it's our first game of the season, our first competitive match, uh, and we're not really going to do anything different in our system. We're going early crosses... Our system very very much the same as it was at Mechelen, I guess at Gibraltar as well. We're not really making any changes. A couple of absentees in the side. As mentioned, Kinkses is suspended. Alexander Zubkov is also suspended, the right winger. Uh, he is serving the last match of a three-match ban. So two players missing through suspension, but no injuries. Clean bill of health. This is the side that's been suggested to us. I think we're going to stick with it. Uh, the only change I made to the system is that Lonshaw has been put into a midfield three. So we've got a flat three rather than playing a defensive midfielder because we don't really have anybody that can do it. Let's jump into the game. I think we'll start on positive, seeing as we should be favourites for this one. Let's see if we can get ourselves off to a winning start here. Let's give Leandro Fernandez number eight. We won every game preseason apart from the testimonial for our goalkeeper. That was a 2-2 draw. So, you know, not a bad preseason, pretty productive. Let's see if we can get off to a winning start in the league. Almaski with a throw right by the corner flag. Here's Ruznak. Almaski with the ball back again here. Fernandez. Not a good pass there. Was a foul off the ball there? I think there might have been. Let's see what the referee gives here. It's going to VAR. I think there was a uh, like something happened off the ball. It's a penalty. Okay, Trossard's going to take it. The Bright former Brighton winger. 14th minute of the game. Chance for Ferenc Rolls to take a 1-0 lead here. Leandro Trossard with it and it's in. Bottom corner, 1-0. I don't know what happened with the challenge there. I think it was off the ball somewhere. Some shove in the box. And they were nowhere near the ball. So I'll take it. It's 1-0 from the spot. And it's Trossard that gets his first goal of the season. Only been with us since January. Only been with the club since January. But now Gior looking to come forward. But uh, Trossard does well to win the ball there. Here's Amavi, the former Villa left back. Tollinson to Adu. Reminds me of Sheriff Adu, a really good centre-back we had back in our Stour save last year. Header on, Juka, who I think is Georgievich. He's got a different name or a nickname, I guess. Big chance there, but he puts it wide. Landra Fernandez, his debut here. Here's Ruznak. Chance to double the lead here, maybe. It's a good cross. Oh, and it's Juka. Juros Juka Djurdovic, I guess it's a nickname, makes it 2-0. Two goals in the space of about three minutes. Good going. It looks like we're going to uh, get ourselves a well, a, a pretty emphatic win here. We're performing really well, but dominating the game. At least we're up near them. Ruznak with a cross. I think the keeper's gone for this. He has. He's palmed it away pretty feebly. And Duca says, thank you very much. Trossard with a free kick. Tollinson at the far post. And the centre-back makes it three. Barely a minute after that second goal. We are absolutely flying in our first game of this season. Really, really good. Look at the cross here from Trossard. Brilliant ball. Tollinson with a fantastic header. I think he's the guy with the 19 jumping reach. But yeah, what a spell we're having right now. 20 minutes in, we're already 3-0 up. Yule with a throw in here though. Mester loses out. And Tollinson sends it long. Georgievich is going to get to this first. He needs a bit of help, though. He does well to hold out. A great ball into the middle for Lonchar. Here's Fernandez to Ruznak. The football was fantastic. Oh, and Fernandez with the shot, but it's just wide. Almost a debut goal for him there. Georgievich with the free kick here. 50 minutes gone. Well saved by the keeper. And he's got the ball back again here. Mankankov sends it long. Okay. Well, I'm really happy with how we've done so far. You have had the shot on target. But barely registers XG. It was that small of a chance. But Shoboff is through here. Oh, and well cleared off the line by Trossard. Benkse to Alexievich. Benkse on the overlap. Good one too there. Into the middle. Tollington does well to intercept that. It's Trossard. Georgievich. Can we get a fourth goal here? That's a great ball for Fernandez. We need to get some players forward though. That's a good ball for Georgievic. And it's in. 4-0. Joris Georgievic with his second of the game. Our fourth. 63 minutes gone. 
And looking like an emphatic start to the season here. 4-0 with, well, less than half an hour to go. Just some really good football here. Fernandez to Lonchar and then the through ball to Juca. Well controlled and a really nice finish. The football's been brilliant today. We are pretty heavy favourites for the game. But I, just, I think we've played really well, you know, despite us being against, well, obviously a, a lower quality opponent. Uh, now they're going to be down to 10 men as well because Madelinac uh, has just been, uh, well, not Madelinac, but someone's just been sent off. Kovacs has been sent off. And now Tross up with a corner, 20 minutes to go. Headed away by Tollinson. Well, he didn't get to actually, it wasn't Tollinson. Here's Ruznak. And that's blocked. Adu. Ruznak. And he's down. Is that going to be another penalty? It could be. And it could be a chance for George to get a hat trick here. Toth Gabor with a foul. I think this should be given. I think it will be given. It wasn't. Okay. That is rare. It's very rare that those penalties aren't given. I think we are going to get Djordjevic off, despite him being on a hat-trick. Uh, try and keep it fresh out there, seeing as we have got European football coming up. Vilga Slam is going to come on. Uh, Amavi is also going to come off. Uh, with Ballard moving to right-back and now Maskey moving to left-back. So double change there. Vilga Slam winning the ball in the Gior half. Here's Trossard, and that's a good cross, good header, oh, and it's in, oh, it's not in, it's off the bar. Last 10 minutes of the match, uh, Trossard is going to come off, Martin Boros is going to come on, and uh, it's been a dominant performance here, it's 4-0, and it could well have been more, it could well have been more, X well, I mean, the XG is almost 4, so, you know, we had other chances today, you saw one there, it came off the bar, it's been a dominant performance and a really, really strong start to our career as Ferenc Varos manager. First game in charge and we've absolutely smashed it. I'm asking you looking to maybe create a fifth here. Boros is in space. That's a good cross and Volga Slammer gets number five. He's on uh, from the bench and then the 90th minute we make it a five-star performance. Almaski with a ball for Borosh and the cross right on the byline for Volga Slammer. Really good. Volga Slammer does well to win the header. And that sums up a pretty fantastic win. Full time, mercifully for Gior. Ferenc Varas 5, Gior 0. Two goals for Djordjevic. Trossard from the spot. Tollinson with a set piece goal. And then Vilgus Lammer uh, late on in the game. Really, really good performance and a great win. What a start that is. Really can't ask for anything better. Well, we weren't the only side to win 5 0 on the opening day. Kizvada winning 5 0 away from home against uh, Metzokovist. <laughs> please help me with pronunciation if you can because I'm going to butcher so much in this uh, in this part of the save really really strong start to the season up next though we have those two legs against Club Bruges so hoping we can get through those get through to the Champions League playoffs give us a chance to maybe get into the group stages if we lose though we'll at least have a Europa League playoff uh, and I think at the very least we will have a group stage draw a group stage of some sort this season so that'll get us a bunch of money you know Champions League would be the perfect um, opportunity because that can give us so much money. But Europa League could be good. Like, I, I, Europa League, I'm all right with. Europa Conference League would be a bit of a shame. Champions League would be amazing. But if we can get Europa League groups, I'd be happy with that. Well, I said that our squad is a bit small and it's on the old side. But, I mean, this squad seems good enough to be winning trophies for Ferenc Varos, as we can see. Fervar have won a couple. But um, Ferenc Varos won 7 out of 8. So... You know, they're doing well. Hoping we can get ourselves um, some trophies while we're here. And then after that, uh, we can really get that job that we're looking for. Because we didn't go for Leicester. I am assuming that they did hire... Uh, uh, who is it? Benny McCarthy. Yeah, they did. I thought they would. He was a very strong favourite to take over. So that doesn't mean the Rangers job is available. Um, you know, that's something we could have done. But I didn't really want to go much further than I was in terms of, you know pre-season uh, I wanted to try and get a full pre-season so I can make some transfers and really you know build um, a squad if we can and try and adapt them to a tactic if we need to I don't really feel like we need to here though I think they have pretty much fit into the tactic like a glove especially from that first game I didn't want to get into a position where we'd be going into August and maybe even September without a job I didn't really want to do that I wanted to land on my feet as it were after leaving Mechelen so that's part of the reason for going for Ferenc Raros but also they're a good side. They're the best side in the country. 
and we can hopefully win some trophies here. And that's just about as good a start as we can get. A 5-0 win in our first league game of the season. Up next though, two games against Club Bruce, Champions League third qualifying round. But for now, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, leave comments and subscribe if you haven't or if you're new. Turn notifications on and next episode, two legs against Club Bruce, Champions League third qualifying round. Can we get through to the playoffs? And that will guarantee Europa League group stage draw at the very least. If we can win two ties, we'll be in the Champions League group stages and we'll get a ton of cash for that. So that's what we're aiming for. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.